Episode 8 The Secret of the Icy Bridge It was a cold winter day, and Elijah and Noah decided to take a walk through the nearby forest. The snow crunched under their boots, and their breath formed little clouds in the icy air. The forest was quiet and peaceful, and the trees were covered in a thick layer of snow. It's so nice and quiet here, Elijah said, looking around. Yes, almost like a fairy tale, Noah agreed. But it's also pretty cold. Let's go to the old stone bridge. There's a great view of the frozen river from there. As they approached the bridge, however, they noticed something strange. The bridge was completely covered in a thick layer of ice, and the ice was so slippery that it seemed impossible to walk across. How are we supposed to get across? asked Elijah, looking at the icy bridge. The ice is far too slippery, and it's also dangerous because we could slip. It looks really problematic, Noah said thoughtfully. If someone tries to walk across here, they could easily fall and hurt themselves. We need to find a way to make the bridge safe again, Elijah said firmly. Maybe we can use the aggregate states of water to solve the problem, Noah suggested. Aggregate states? Elijah asked curiously. Noah nodded. Yes, water can exist in three states, solid, liquid, and gas. In its solid state, water is ice, like what's covering the bridge now. If it gets warm enough, the ice melts and becomes liquid water, and if you heat the water even more, it evaporates and becomes gaseous. That's cool, Elijah said. But how can we use these conditions to get the ice off the bridge? I have an idea, Noah said, tapping his bracelet. Our superpowers could be useful here. Elijah and Noah activated their bracelets and transformed into their superhero forms. Elijah now wore a suit that allowed him to generate targeted heat, while Noah's toolbox was equipped with devices that could measure and regulate various temperatures. I'm going to carefully heat the ice to melt it slowly, Elijah said. If I control the temperature, we can drain the water at a safe rate. Noah nodded and opened his toolbox. Suddenly, a small thermometer popped out. Finally, a mission again, the thermometer shouted. I'll show you how hot the ice really is. Watch out, said Noah with a smile. The thermometer is a bit over-enthusiastic. Elijah grinned and aimed his hands at the icy bridge to concentrate the heat. The thermometer bounced around excitedly. Oh, it's getting warmer. The ice is starting to melt, it exclaimed. Okay, so we're turning the solid ice into liquid water, Elijah said. But if the water stays here, it will freeze again and we'll have the same problem. Don't worry, Noah said and pulled another device out of his box. A small fan with a big smile on its face popped out. I'm ready to blow the water away. Don't worry, I'm running on battery power so we don't need a power cord out here. Perfect, said Elijah. Let's blow the water off before it freezes again. The fan started moving with a cheerful hum and carefully blew the melted water off the bridge. Ha ha ha, that tickles a bit, the fan shouted as it pushed the water aside. Keep it up! Noah encouraged him as he watched the fan guide the water safely towards the river, where it could do no harm. But suddenly they heard a crunching sound. What was that? Noah asked in alarm. I think the snow on the bridge might be unstable, Elijah said, pointing to a spot where the snow was starting to slide. That sounds like a job for me, shouted a small broom that jumped out of the toolbox. I'm going to sweep this snow away before it spoils our soup. With a quick whirl, the broom swept the snow off the bridge and made sure that nothing got in the way. Quite icy here, but nothing I couldn't sweep away, said the broom proudly. Well done said Elijah as he melted the last part of the bridge and the fan blew away the remaining water. The bridge is safe now, said Noah, looking around, and the ice has completely melted without it becoming slippery. And we used our superpowers to solve the problem, Elijah added. It's fascinating how you can control the different states of water to solve problems. 
The ice was solid, but the heat melted it so it became liquid, Noah explained. And if we had heated the water further, it would have turned to steam and risen into the air. That shows how versatile water is. The devices in Noah's box were jubilant with joy that they were finally being used again. That was fun, exclaimed the fan as it slowly came to rest. Let's do this more often. Yes, we make a great team, added the little broom, rolling back into the crate. The two friends crossed the bridge and enjoyed the view of the frozen river. They knew that they had not only solved a problem today, but had also learned something important about nature and the power of aggregate states. That was a real adventure, Elijah said, smiling. Yes, and I'll always treat ice with respect now, Noah added. With their happy tools in the box and a new adventure success in their pockets, the two headed home, ready for the next adventure that awaited them. Music